about things that have written, as I mentioned, uh, in Imagine, but we have also different countries. So if you go on our website, you can just click on the on the country, and then you're going to get a two-page fact sheet about what's going on there in Germany. Okay. And finally. I gave the presenters a little structure and I put little uh, symbols with it so that you know what you're going to be talking about. So the first one I asked them to do actually a live musical introduction of their country, a typical children's song with where they're going to engage you. So that will be our musical interlude at the beginning. And as next I will do a snapshot of the country uh, that you get a, a feeling of the numbers, how many children are there. What, what does the service look like? Where in the whole thing is music therapy? And then background information about the regulations and the cultural factor, factors which are counting into providing music therapy services. And then each of them is going to do a short case example so that you can see how that actually works in clinical practice. And finally, we get a little list of prominent literature which sticks out in their country. So, I'm welcoming our first speaker, that will be Stine Linda Jakobsen. Yes, so Denmark is not, is essentially not, is a very small country, there are only 5.5 million people, and very few of them are under 5, just under 400,000. And the Danish Association of Music Therapists are only 130 members. So it's actually only 15 to 20 music therapists that are working with the children on five. Um, and it's in very many different settings. It's with children, mostly it's with children with developmental disabilities and disorders. Also a bit of families at risk, refugees, and in pediatrics, in pediatrics also. But that's very good. And the way we work with these children is that we need to figure out the aims, we need to figure out the assessment. assessment. We have different centers where music therapists aid the diagnostics to figure out what are these children's weaknesses and, and strengths. That's when you get in a music therapist to help with this. Often we focus on the emotional and social uh, aspects of the child development, also the physical and cognitive one, but mostly social and emotional. <laughs> With this Finnish poetry song, accompanied with traditional Finnish instrument, I want to send you warm greetings from Finland. To my great pity, I am unable, unfortunately, to participate in this wonderfully organized symposium. Though I'm very grateful to be able to send this video greeting to you. First, some demographics about Finland. In Finland, there are currently about 500 clinically trained music therapists and approximately half of them are working as part of full-time clinicians. Most therapists provide services in private practice settings as there are quite few official hospital and rehabilitation positions. Reimbursement for music therapy services comes in many cases from the governmental social insurance institution of Finland. Yeah. What we do now uh, with the Department of Psychiatry of Child Psychiatry in Greece, we do a, a research project. Uh, on the development of reach capacity for, of, um, of children with autism and um, uh, actually this case study is about the uh, development of the capacity of four year old child with autism and freedom music and this is uh, an embodied uh, approach to social good <laughs> I used to say 
my students that this is an exercise. You, you think about children with some disabilities, that it's difficult to know where's hand or something. And sometimes, even for us, it is difficult to know where we have nose and ears. So, it would be like this. <laughs> Lie, clap your knees, and now, right arm hand, keep your nose, left, right, ear. Legs, <laughs> clap again. Opposite, left, nose, right, left. <laughs> Thank you for coming on a Friday afternoon. Okay. Thank you for sharing.